There is, however, another way to carry out this operation of eliminating V1, and that's by using a trick where we convert this into an algebraic system of equations. So the idea is we're going to, again, take each derivative and replace it with S, uh, just like we did for the characteristic equation. So what I mean by that is we would rewrite our first equation as MSV1 plus BV1 minus BV2 is equal to F, where we replace that first derivative of V1 with SV1. Similarly, we get MSV2 plus BV2 minus BV1 is equal to zero. If we collect terms, we would end up with uh, M S plus B times V1 minus BV2 is equal to F. And then similarly collecting terms for the second equation, we have an M S plus B V2 minus BV1 is equal to zero. We can take this same equation and we can solve for V1. V1 is just going to be equal to M S plus B over B times V2. And then we can plug this equation back into the first equation. And what does that look like? We have M S times V1 quantity, sorry, M S plus B times one V1 quantity, M S plus B divided by B times V2 minus BV2 is equal to F. So let's multiply this out. M squared S squared plus 2MBS plus B squared all divided by B multiplied by V2 minus BV2 is equal to F. If we, uh, let's just divide out by our B's. And then finally, let's put our derivatives back in. So we can end up with m squared over b, v2 double dot, plus 2m v2 dot, plus b, uh, sorry, the, the, these actually are going to eliminate each other. So we end up with 2m v2 dot is equal to f. So now we have a single differential equation relating capital F to our output variable of interest, V2.